So athletics for me, it started when I was in primary school. I tried long jump, high jump and hurdles and just loved them all. Um, I came from a gymnastics background, so I was springy, so it made sense. And because I enjoyed it, I wanted to pursue it. So I got involved in combined events and I was doing that until 2011, at which point I took up bobsleigh. And then when I spent two winters training for that, I wasn't really conditioned to do the heptathlon. So it was a matter of what's the closest event to bobsleigh. And it was long jump, you know, you run and you jump in. Um, so I stuck to that. The first time I got a call to say I was selected to, to compete for GB, it felt like such an honor. And it, and it still does every single time now. Um, I'm always, always proud to put on a GB vest. And it's not necessarily something I was expecting, but it's something that I'd been working towards. It's so exciting. And I don't think people really understand how much of a difference the crowd makes. You know, people, we all talk about it, but it's really hard to get a grasp of how important it is to have that crowd behind you when you're actually competing. When you know that you've got a stadium full of people that have got your back, that are supporting you, it makes such a difference. It pushes you down the runway. So, because 2016 for me was probably my best season ever, probably, definitely, um, I'm going to have to do better. So really, to call 2017 a success, I need to jump a PB and better my performance in Rio to so finish better than eighth in London. So singing, I'm trying to keep it up alongside training. Training's definitely my priority, but I'd like to try and forge a career in music for when I'm finished with athletics. For the time being, athletics is absolutely number one, but music hasn't disappeared. You know, a lot of people have asked me, you know, have you stopped singing since The Voice? And I haven't, I'm still writing, I'm still performing, and I'm, I'm definitely still singing. But as a main career, it can wait. I would say, go down to your local track, there'll be somebody there that wants to nurture your talent and wants to help you develop and follow the things that you love because I reckon I've got this far because I've been doing something that I really love and if long jump's that for you then go for it. <laughs>